All right, let's do some mathy math. Straightforward instructions, solve for x. Got it, let's get x all by itself. Okay, we can handle this. So first things first, it says x divided by eight minus two equals three. All right, before we even approach this x, let's get this negative two uh, to the other side. The way we do that is we just do the opposite operation to uh, make this go away. So the opposite of negative two is plus two. And if I do it to one side, you must balance out and do it to the other side, right? To the other side of the equal sign. Okay, great. So now we have x over eight or x divided by eight equals five because three plus two is five. All right, no problem. Now, uh, this x, I want it to get all by itself, but I can't right now because it's being mul I'm sorry, excuse me, divided by 8. So the opposite of dividing by 8 is just multiplying by 8. So all you do is multiply both sides by 8. Now I'm going to multiply this side by 8, but I'm actually going to write it as a fraction because it's just 8 over 1. It's the same thing. And then I'll multiply this side by 8. Okay, so these 8s cancel. Shoo! x over 1 is just x, so I have x. Let me come down here a little bit. I'm writing so big. We say x is, well, what is 5 times 8? If you don't know, you can count up by 5s 8 times. Pretty straightforward. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. There you go. It's 40. You could also count up by 8 5 times if you wanted uh, because multiplying is communicative. All right, neither here nor there. X equals 40. You've done it. Good job. Remember, if you want to be notified when I make more practice problems just for you, just uh, subscribe below. And uh, if there's something you want to see or something special you want to make for you, just leave a comment and I'll do my best to make it for you. All right. Bye.